the first x-ray pictures are taken, a milestone is reached in the creation of the internet, and a popular web browser is launched. It all happened this week in tech history. This week in 1895, scientist Wilhelm Röntgen took the first x-ray pictures. He had been experimenting with electricity but failed to turn off the machine. The device he was working with overheated and emitted rays. Röntgen had come up with the scientific principle that would allow him to take x-ray pictures. Other x-rays had been observed before this, but Röntgen was the only one to prove that the machine worked. He may have been a clever scientist, but he had no business savvy. He never patented his x-ray machine and never received any money for it. In 1980 this week, the NASA space probe Voyager 1 made its closest approach to Saturn and took the first images of its rings. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977 and still remains operational after more than 43 years, communicating with the Deep Space Network to receive routine commands and to transmit data to Earth. This week in 1990, Sir Tim Berners-Lee published a formal proposal for what we know now as the World Wide Web. Before settling on that name, the World Wide Web was very close to being referred to as the Information Mesh. And this week in 2004, Firefox 1.0 was released. The internet browser has had more than 80 versions since then, and while very popular, ranks only third on desktops, at about an 8% market share, just behind Safari, but very far behind the number one desktop browser, Chrome, which has a nearly 70% market share of desktop browsers. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Hey everyone, Cameron Graveline here. Remember, call in Winstop. Thank you. Visit us online at intotomorrow.com where you can find out how to listen to our weekly Into Tomorrow radio show and participate to win cool prizes. Catch you next time on This Week in Tech History.